Let's do the homework question about Desmond's decrementor. This is Desmond's decrementor circuit, and it's made from a, a half adder with a, a NOT gate on one of the inputs and another NOT gate on one of the outputs. The question asks us, first of all, to give the truth table for a half adder, and then we can use that to figure out the truth table for Desmond's decrementor. What does a half adder do? It adds two binary numbers of place value one, and it gives back the answer as a two-bit binary number. And we can figure it out just by adding. Uh, that's to say zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, one plus zero is also one, and one plus one is two. And now we're ready to figure out what Desmond's decrementor does. It has two inputs, x and c in, which we can tabulate 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then we can figure out what the outputs are. Okay, and how do we do it? Well, we look at what comes into the decrementer, then figure out what goes into the half adder. Uh, and then the truth table tells us what comes out of the half adder, and then we figure out what comes out of the decrementer. So if 0, 0 comes into the decrementer, then the x signal gets negated. So 1, 0 goes into the half adder. We're in this row of the truth table. Correspondingly, 0, 1 comes out of the half adder, and then the 1 gets negated to give us 0, 0. Meanwhile, if 0 and 1 go into the decrementer, then again the 0 gets negated and we find ourselves in this row of the truth table. 1, 0 comes out of the uh, uh, half adder and then the 0 gets negated to give us 1, 1. Now, in this case, when 1, 0 comes into the decrementer, that means we're sending 0, 0 into the half adder. 0, 0 comes out of the half adder, and then the 0 on the right is negated to give us a 1. And finally, if 1, 1 goes into the decrementer, then the 1 on the left gets negated, and we're in this row of the truth table. 0, 1 comes out of the half adder, and so the 1 gets negated, giving us 0, 0. So we've built the truth table for Desmond's decrementer. We are advised that we should regard Desmond's decrementer as a funny kind of adding machine, where the inputs and outputs have slightly unusual place values. In particular, where x has place value 1, the carry-in has place value minus 1, the carry out has place value minus 2, and uh, the y output has place value 1. We are told that it might be good if we checked that Desmond's decrementer really is uh, an adding circuit with these place values. So what we do is we add up the total place value of the inputs and compare it with the total place value of the outputs. So in this row, on the left, we have no ones and no minus ones coming in, so that gives us zero. And on the output, we have no minus twos and no ones, so that's also zero. In this row, in the input, we have no ones and a minus one, so our total place value is minus one. Uh, on the outputs, we have a minus two and a plus one, so our place value uh, total place value is 1 minus 2, which is equal to minus 1. In the third row, we have 1, 1, and no minus 1s, so our total place value is 1. And in the output, we have no minus 2s and 1, 1, so again, our total place value is 1. And finally, on the last row, we have 1, 1, and 1 minus 1. So our total place value is 1 minus 1, which is also known as 0. 
Meanwhile, on the output side, we have no minus twos and no ones, so the output is indeed zero. So yes, Desmond's decrementer is a circuit for adding when we have uh, one positive uh, input and one negative input. So we can use it to do a little bit of subtraction. For the next part of the question, we're asked to perform subtraction manually for this binary number, which has a 1 in the 4s column and a 1 in the 16s column, so it's 20. Any sensible person at this stage will predict that subtracting 1 from 20 ought to give us 19, so we have a check for the answer that we expect. Now, the um, instructions tell us to work from right to left with the carry here initially 1 and saying that the carry should remain 1 as long as the output needs to differ from the input. So what happens? Uh, well, we try to subtract 1 from 0, but there's nothing to subtract. So effectively what we do is we add 2 to the top and to the bottom. We treat this 0 as 2 and we compensate by putting a 1 in the 2's column. We've added 2 to uh, both sides of the subtraction. And now we can subtract 1 from 2 and give 1. Another way of looking at it is just that, yes, uh, one, uh, the output has to be different from the input because we're subtracting 1, uh, but we haven't actually found anything to subtract from, so we need to keep going in the next column. And the same thing happens again. We can't take 1 from 0, but we can take 1 from 2, and we can carry, uh, we can pay that back in the next column. 1 from 2 is 1. So, final, no, so now in this column, we finally get uh, a, a 1 that we can subtract from. 1 take away 1 is 0. And now we don't need to pay anything back in the next column. Uh, we've basically found something to subtract from, and we're done. 0 from 0 is 0, and again, nothing to pay back. 0 from 1 is 1, and we end up with a 0 in the last column. Carry. So uh, we have successfully uh, completed the calculation and look, we have a 1 in the 16s column and in the 2s and in the 1s, 16 plus 2 plus 1 is indeed 19. We have successfully subtracted 1 from 20. Now let's have a look at what's going on. From these two numbers, the 0 and the 1, we computed these two numbers, the one in the output and the next one along in the carry. And look, when we have 0 and 1 as the inputs to Desmond's decrementer, two ones is what comes out. Moving along, if we have two ones coming in, two zeros come out. And that's exactly what's going on in this row of the truth table for Desmond's decrementer. If we look here, we have two zeros coming in and two zeros going out. And that's exactly what goes on in this row of the truth table for Desmond's decrementer. And finally, in this column, we have 1 and 0 coming in, and 0 and 1 coming out, and that's what's going on in this row of the truth table for Desmond's decrementer. So what we can see is that Desmond's decrementer circuit is exactly the right component to do one column's worth of this uh, subtraction of 1. So when uh, we're asked in part C to construct a circuit that will subtract 1 from a 5-bit number, uh, we've got a pretty big clue. 
we are told that we can use five deck components and a carry-in signal of, uh, of zero or one. Well, let's build a circuit uh, which uh, just follows our usual principle of building adding machines. We've got a five bit input with place values one, two, four, eight, and 16. And we would like to subtract one from it. So how about sending in a constant one signal with place value minus one. Now we have exactly the right place values to feed into Desmond's decrementer. We put in a decrementer here and out come a one and a minus two. So we've got the ones for the answer. Now we have a two and a minus two. So doubling up place values all round, another one of Desmond's decrementers will give us a two and a minus four. And now we have the twos for the answer. Now we have a four and a minus four. So going again, stick in one of Desmond's decrementers and out come a four and a minus eight. And now we have the fours for the answer. Moving along, another decrementer, we have a feed it an eight and a minus eight. And out come an eight and a minus 16. And finally, our last, with our fifth decrementer, We are then asked to check uh, with the same example that our circuit does indeed compute uh, 20 minus 1 correctly. So we feed in 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then we check that Desmond's decrementer sends the right outputs. If we feed in 0 and 1 to Desmond's decrementer, then out come 1 and 1 according to the truth table. That's one to the carry and one to the answer. Again, if we feed in zero and one, we'll get one out and one to the carry. Now, if we feed in one and one, the truth table tells us that we will get zero to the answer and zero to the carry. Feeding in zero and zero, out come zero and zero. Feeding in one and zero, out come one to the answer and zero to the carry. So yes, when we start with 20, we end up with 90. Desmond's decrementer enables us to build a wide uh, decrementer for numbers of any size.